What's going on friends, Sanford is back once again. It's an exciting time to be in 3D printing because Bamboo Lab have just dropped their new P2S and it's certainly shaping up to be the next big step in 3D printing. Now Bamboo are calling it the icon, redefined. And after going through some of the specs and getting it out of the box, I'm starting to see why. But isn't this just the same thing, but dressed in new clothes? And should you buy the H2 range instead? Or should you wait for the other printer that they announced? Uh, friends, let's get straight. On into this one. You are watching a master at work. The P-Series from Bamboo Lab has always been one of their best sellers. It's known for being reliable, high performing and still affordable compared to their flagship models. Now the P2S takes that formula and completely rebuilds it from the ground up. We're talking about a second generation machine that takes some of the higher tech from machines like the H2S and the H2D. Like the Dynasense Extruder and Active Airflow system, but at a much more approachable price. One of the biggest improvements is ease of use. The P2S has a 5 inch touchscreen and a brand new second generation UI, which is exactly the same as the H2S and the H2D. It's way smoother, more intuitive, and it gives you clear step-by-step -step guidance. Elements like flow calibration. Well, that's just something that only experienced users can do, right? No, because the P2S now uses a built-in eddy current sensor that automatically handles it for you. No guesswork, no fiddling with settings, just smooth, consistent prints. So let's talk about power. The new PMSM servo extruder pushes up to 8.5 kilos of force, which is actually 70% stronger than the last generation. This means stable high flow extrusion and less risk of grinding or clogs. Now on the cooling side, the adaptive airflow system is a game changer. Instead of recycling hot air, it actually pulls in cool, fresh air when needed. This means better print quality on tricky overhangs, and when you're printing engineering filaments, it can switch modes to preserve the chamber heat and keep air filtered and clean. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a bamboo printer without smart features. The P2S now has AI error detection with computer vision. It can spot spaghetti failures, nozzle blobs, and even double check that your slicer settings match the build plate that you're using. On top of that, the built-in 1080p high frame rate camera with improved lighting gives you crisp remote monitoring and really nice time lapses perfect for those who like sharing your prints on social media never enough use whether you're a hobbyist a student or a pro engineer pcbway.com has you covered from simple two-layer boards to complex multi-layer designs they offer high quality pcbs with fast turnaround and competitive pricing plus their assembly service and 3d printing options make them the one-stop shop for makers so visit pcbway.com and turn your ideas into reality Thank you once again to PCBWay for sponsoring this channel. Now, if you go for the P2S combo, it does come bundled with the new AMS2 Pro. This is their most reliable multicolor printing system yet. And yes, it finally includes filament drying. The active venting system dries filament about 30% faster than traditional box heaters, and it keeps everything at a stable, low humidity for best print quality. You can connect up to eight AMS units. That's four AMS Pro 2s, followed by the HT units if you want to get up to that amazing 20 colors. It isn't quite as much as the H2S and H2D, but again, it's a different price range and a different style of printer. But please let me know in the comment section if you prefer the P2 range or if you prefer the H2 range. So it begs the question, who is the P2S really for? In my opinion, if you're a newbie with a decent budget, it's incredibly easy to use. If you're a pro looking to expand your fleet, you get reliability and value without the flagship price tag. If you're switching from another brand, the user experience and print quality upgrades are going to be hard to ignore. So let's talk a little bit more about the specification of this printer. So some of this does feel strangely familiar. We've got a 256, 256, 256 build volume and up to 600 millimeters squared with the print speed and 20k acceleration. It's a 40mm cubed max flow rate, hardened steel gears and nozzle, heated bed up to 110 degrees and support of a wide range of materials from PLA to PETG all the way up to carbon fiber composites. Now my personal favorite feature on this printer has to be the ease of nozzle replacement. Now gone are the days of fiddling around with an allen key to change out your nozzle. This one simply unlocks and pulls straight out. It's a similar system found on the A1 and the H2 ranges. I'm also considering this from an upgrade perspective. The nozzles themselves are hardened steel as standard, which is a big plus. On top of that, the AM 
AMS2 allows only certain advanced materials inside that chamber, such as Polymaker PETG CF08, while automatically rejecting CF17 or other filaments with higher levels of abrasiveness. The P2S does launch officially on the Bamboo Lab site on the 14th of October at 9pm CST. There are some affiliate links down in the description below and I think one of probably the first comments as well. If you do hit that, it does give a small kickback to the channel, which of course I appreciate. And be sure to check them out just down below. So as it is customary, let me first of all show you some of the prints that we've managed to create on the P2S and then I'll finish off with some final thoughts. fantastic prints there. So the P2S does come at a time where Bamboo Lab products are almost in the 3D printing world impossible to ignore. Their success, their speed of development and the platforms they've built like Maker World have genuinely opened doors to designers and makers to grow in ways that didn't exist before. But being as close to the industry as I am, I do also see it from the other side. Competitors often rush out cheap knockoffs believing that they actually have an impact. The truth is they rarely do. And I've been around this now long enough to know that this space now mirrors the personal computing industry. Every generation of machine outpaces the last and only a few companies will really shape the future. And this is where some mixed emotions online come from. If you're completely new to the 3D printing industry, buying your first machine and just having it work feels like magic compared to the old days of swapping nozzles with Allen keys or manually leveling beds or waiting 20 times longer for the print to finish. Things have changed massively, and that shift can both be exciting and unsettling depending on where you stand. And I firmly believe that having a good experience with your very first printer is truly important for you to survive inside of this community. And I really hate to think how many people have been put off 3D printing in the past, due to their very first bad experience. The P2S stands out as one of the few printers that genuinely serves first-time users well, despite what others may argue. Any manufacturer could have taken a truly game-changing step like this, but many simply didn't have the vision or courage to think outside of the box. While the P2S doesn't necessarily look all that new and it really gave me X1 Carbon vibes, it really does appeal to a brand new audience. And I think that's probably where Bamboo are actually heading with this particular machine. I found it a little bit odd that this machine didn't come out before the H2S. And maybe that is a thought process that Bamboo had. I also found it a little bit weird that we had the H2S launch and then the H2C was then kind of dropped with this multi-tool system exactly at the same sort of time that Snapmaker were doing very well on a Kickstarter. So again, controlling that marketplace, strategy with business, it's a very interesting time to be in 3D printing, but it might not be that interested, certainly if you're a first time user and you're looking to buy a 3D printer that's just going to work out of the box. So the P2S certainly does that. I've been really impressed with it. The prints have been great. It's as to be expected. There's nothing really there that shocked me and I thought oh my god this is completely a game changer traditionally um, but certainly from a perspective of a 256 build plate it is better than a lot of the other printers that are out there on the market right now but the dilemma I feel will be do you go for a H2S 
Yeah, sure, it's a little bit more money. Or do you stick with this as your first 3D printer? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Hopefully that's given you something to think about. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We will see you next time. Thank you to all the sponsors. And of course, Bamboo Lab for sending me this printer. Bye for now. You are watching a master work.